Hi, I'm Eleanor Silverstein, and welcome to my webinar on acid reflux. I'm here with Linda Tellington Jones, a wonderful woman who has been a source of inspiration to me, oh, for at least ooh, the last <laughs> 35 years and more. <laughs> and she has created a uh, three parts of the Tellington Tea Touch. Um, for self-help tea touches and one of them which is one of my favorites is called the heart hug and I use this to help people with anxiety I use this to help people with stress but even more so I use this to help people with acid reflux and I thought who better yet than to invite Linda herself who is now teaching in Colorado and we're zooming her in from Colorado to be able to teach you and talk to you about her wonderful work and heart hug. Welcome, Linda. I'm very excited, as always, to be sharing with you, Eleanor. Mm. And I, um, this this uh, idea of using the one and a quarter touch, circle T-touch for uh, um, acid reflux came just as an accident to us. I mean, a total surprise. I was teaching in Germany and the husband of one of uh, my students just dropped in to meet me and it was her first day and see what this was about and i invited him to stay for the morning and part of the morning just to get us grounded and hmm, bring us into the body it was this tellington t touch heart hug this one and a quarter circles on the heart chakra and he did it and he had been suffering a little bit as he came in and wait a minute he said wait a minute wait a minute i don't have this acid reflux and um that's how we discovered that it was possible wow wow and you know there are millions of people in this country millions of people maybe 70 percent of the population has some form of acid reflux good heavens it's huge. It's huge. And so because there's so many reasons for it. And uh, I, when I work with special needs babies and children, I teach the mothers how to do it on their babies and children, and it helps them too. Yes. And so I, 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 I don't think um, I told you this, but a few years ago, I was in Johann uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, and I was invited to work with a group of babies in a hospital where every Wednesday mothers can bring um, their babies in to this nurse, anyone, you know, babies under six months. And one of them was on medication for heart reflux, but the problem is it just stops them. I mean, they're so, they have so much problems with um, constipation. Right. So I did the same thing, you know, just show her this very, very gentle one and a quarter circles. And, um, and it worked. Wow. It's, I'm so thrilled that you're bringing this in to your class. <laughs> <laughs> so i have a question to ask you i would love to hear your thought would you be willing to talk about it beforehand about the idea of oxytocin and the connection that you think is happening with a heart hug well yes and it's a speculation because of the study that was done um, that I'd actually like to read to you. Oh, please. Would you? Yeah. I'm going to read it uh, from this book. Can you see it? Yep, all I'll wrapped up. up for you. Uh, mm -hmm. By my sister, Robin Hood. And um, on page 57 in this book, there is um, an article written by Robin Bernhardt, who has been doing research on our uh, tea touch for more than a decade. And um, what this is, is that light touch releases oxytocin and soothes the polyvagal system. That's the level of this. And uh, on the second paragraph, um, a study designed to explore the benefits of massage was expected to demonstrate that massage supports the immune system by boosting the body's level of oxytocin, now called the trust hormone. Wow and thereby indirectly reducing the body's secretion of cortisol, the quote-unquote stress hormone. Mm -hmm. 
Both groups in this study, funded by the U.S. government's National Center for Complementary and Alternative Medicine, showed an increase in oxytocin. But the people in the control group who received light touch actually produced more oxytocin and therefore less cortisol than the people in the deep touch group. Since oxytocin is a neuropeptide of trust and safety, it would be the perfect antidote to the fight, flight, freeze response. Hmm. It is released in high doses during delivery, nursing, and sex to promote bonding but it is also released in less amounts within the context of relaxing, pleasurable, and safe relationships. Just touching another person in a kind way or hugging a pet can release oxytocin. And as we have seen in the previously mentioned study, the relationship does not have to be of the personal nature for this release to occur. The safety and structure of a therapeutic relationship with a trained professional works just fine. Part of the experience of support, security, and safety, often created by the reps, this is what this book is about, may turn out to be a result of oxytocin. Wow. Also of great interest, it has been shown in laboratory studies that oxytocin can completely erase an old memory that, and is being studied as a new therapy for PTSD. Wow. Yeah, and the thing is that um, we found more than a decade ago that we, with the heart hug, <sighs> that it could bring us from a state of, you know, those looping thoughts that people have, many of us have, um, it, that are actually under the control of the emotional centers of the brain, the limbic system. When we do this uh, one and a quarter circles you know, on the heart chakra, that we can actually br uh, bring the, the the control and have choices from the frontal cortex, wow. and it's really different. So, wow. yes for acid reflux and yes for eustress from this hard time. Well, as you can see, I am so excited about this. I took my glasses off, so <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready, my girl? <laughs> <laughs> okay so i would love it if you could teach it to the class well what we do first of all is imagine the face of a clock you know on your chest on your heart chakra here and the six o'clock is toward the ground nine twelve three put one hand lightly over the other slightly cupped or um in some cases, some people find it more comfortable to fold the fingers back and make a soft little um, piece of your hand like this. So I like mine lightly cupped. Now, you have to decide which direction is best. So we try, I, I go first in the direction to the right, uh, clockwise. So you start at six o'clock and very gently, just just enough contact that you move the skin in one circle and a quarter so i go six nine twelve <coughs> three six nine take a deep breath keeping the light contact at nine and think smile because that releases the serotonin and it's now said also oxytocin and Ah, when you come to that stopping point at the one and a quarter circle, just think of somebody you love very much and smile. Now let's try the other direction. Go to the six to the three, 12, nine, six, three. And that's not as comfortable for me, so I won't do it again, but if that's best for you, continue. And do several of these and actually choose the tempo that feels best for you. When you're in a situation of stress, go a little faster at first. You know? Deep breath. I breathe out through pursed lips and smile. And we've been teaching this for many, many years now. I started 
calling it the heart hug, teaching children, orphans in Sueto, who are in a situation where many of them live alone and come one just for lunch, actually, to one central point to be um, taken care of and fed. But they learn this heart hug when they're feeling in a state of uncertainty or nobody's there for them. And it is like this wonderful feeling of really coming home to yourself. And one of the questions that came up like, okay, I do one circle and a quarter and then take my deep breath and pause. And then I take my hand, I lighten my hands and I start again when it's just a little bit different place, not exactly on the same spot. Oh, nice. Release nice again and then just move again. Maybe it only has to be half an inch. So it's just the one and a quarter. And when you do the one and a quarter and you end up at like nine o'clock, do you let it curve down back to six? If you just, if you just slowly release, you're, because there's so little actual movement here, you just slowly, I take my hands off. And it's not like it's not like a huge shift. Oh, there's a difference in that. That's interesting. It's very different for me to just let it off because I've always done it where I go a circle and a quarter and then let it slide down. I really like the just letting it off. The the, the return to where you started is the snail's tail. Right. So I love snail's yeah. tail. <laughs> but I like the releasing from the last place. That's beautiful. So we lost just a little bit of connection. Oh, I can't believe that. Well, we're back on. <laughs> but you know what? The thing is, what you can do, you can just take that and just say, ah, oh, we were having difficulty. There was a big storm in Colorado that night. And bye-bye. Yeah, well, and, and we're recording now. And just know it just started raining here in Southern California. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that that is beautiful, Linda. I think that this is such a great gift to give people in this moment of, of touching ourselves here with whatever it is that we're doing, right? The heart hug is so much more than you'll hear me talk about the possibility of, you know, the vagal nerve is behind there. And, you know, like you talk about the oxytocin and the serotonin and what it does, you know, insight with our heart and what it does into our psyche. So, this is such a great gift, and I want to say thank you beyond My belief. Pleasure. Is there anything else you would like to add with this? Um, yes. One of, um, I think, the, the important parts of this heart hug, after you've done three or four, and you make a pause at the one and a quarter circles, just count three blessings in your life. Mm. And this actually boosts our immune system. It's way beyond just the, I think, beyond the heart coherence or the, you know, um, bringing us to a, a place of peace. It connects us in a really beautiful way to this 50 trillion cells that make up this divine being that each one of us is. That's a gift. <laughs> God bless you. I love you, Linda. I love you. Thank you. And Aloha. Aloha. This is going to be wonderful for everybody. Thank you. <laughs> this is